Hello. Um, I do believe that we need to go back to town now that we've taken care of all of our desert business, so we're going to do that right quick. Whew. I think we've earned a breather. Say 2B, I was hoping we could talk about our next move. I'm worried about the damage we took in that last battle with the machines. Maybe we should return to the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance? Psh, please. Oh. I'll rest when I'm dead. No, we should keep fighting. Roger that. Just try not to overdo it, okay? Operator to 9S. Data upload complete. Roger. I also have an incoming message from the commander. Initiating playback. 2B, 9S. We've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. Their black boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location of their signals, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. End transmission. Hmm. I heard something about that back at the resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Um, there is typically a quick, easy way to... Pardon. Uh, there is a quick, easy way to figure out where... Uh, quests are and event markers are. You just simply go to here, go to your list, and holy crap, there's a bunch. So, uh, there are these little red dots, and to me, I find them a little difficult to see, but, you know, there's one there, and one there, and, um, that one just might be a save point, if I recall rightly, but it is on the way, so let's just, uh, check that bad boy out. I figure that I can come through and scoop up a lot of the side quests while I can. Plant life has claimed most of the central area. Big plants, too. Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. I can't combo today. I've got no regrets. Oh, that's nice of them. I don't actually have to go in and go to the resistance camp. It doesn't necessarily look like there's much going on there anyway. I have not done anything as far as programs or chips go. So, the way this game works out is you pick up chips from various enemies. I mean, it's just a random drop. And when you put these in your character, uh, install them if you will, you can gain different effects. It's just easier to show. Let me go over to skills here and we go to plug-in chips. We'll go to customize because all the cool people customize. You can actually tailor the way that your UI looks. So if you don't want the mini-map, pull it out. Uh, the number next to it denotes how many, uh, how much RAM it takes essentially. So I'm just gonna say I've got 40 gigabytes of RAM and total, and right now 20 of it's being used. So uh, swapping these chips in and out, up and around, will change stuff. Um, you can actually unequip this one and just straight up kill yourself. Or you can sell it. 
I did that once. It was embarrassing. Um, random drops, though, the, the way it works is the, the amount of storage it takes, or gigabytes, however you want to look at it, uh, it's also random, even if it's the same type of chip. Like, you got a Shockwave plus two, one cost seven, one cost 12. Obviously, you're gonna go for the seven. Um, you can combine those two and make a Shockwave plus three at a vendor, but because one of the Shockwave plus twos is so damn expensive, the Shockwave plus three is not gonna be all that ideal. From what I can tell, if there's a black tr uh, diamond next to the name, that is the optimal uh, cost. So, you, in other words, that you won't see an offensive heal lower than a four. That it's as low as it can get. So, ideally, you want to combine black diamonds together, and then you get like your two offensive heals, and you get a plus one, which uh, will have a better uh, return rate for you. So. We got a few things in here, and I'm always a big fan of Shockwave. Since it looks like the cheapest Shockwave is a plus two, we'll go ahead and install that. And this offensive heal here, uh, which is recover 2% of damage dealt as hit points. And that's about it as far as that goes. You can buy more RAM later on and upgrade as you need. All right, maybe I am tired, don't judge me. Alright, now that we've had our nap, let's get to our next destination here.
Whoa. That looks bizarre as hell. I don't think I've seen that before. Looks like our surface route's been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. So 2B, those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Right. But we androids were modeled after our human creators. So why would machines try to look like us? Hmm. There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. I suppose. There's an iron pipe that you can fish up from right here. Um, at first it looks like a fairly weak weapon, but when it gets fully upgraded, that thing can ruin pretty much any opponent's day. It's not the strongest weapon in the game, but I personally liked the significance of it, which was a throwback to the first Nier. Uh, earlier on, 9S also made a comment about uh, he was wondering if there were giant boars and such uh, back in the past, and I believe that is also a throwback to the first Nier. Uh, I've never played the Drakengard series, so I don't know how much of Drakengard lore I'm missing here. Uh, oops. Maybe one of these days I'll get to it. What else is pretty cool about this game is that every single weapon has its own little story. The story's only a few sentences long, typically. Uh, and the more you upgrade a weapon, the more story you get for said weapon. And I'll show that off probably later on, especially when we start getting our upgraded weapons and whatnot. You got your level 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 being the max. Chances are not good that I'll be able to max any of them out for a while, though, so... No big deal, in other words. dinner first or something. Yes, you can kill them. No, I'm not feeling particularly mean-spirited right now.
This gate isn't going to open. Maybe there's another way around. Were those stairs at one point? Did they just convert it into a ramp? Huh. Where does this corridor lead? I guess it goes without saying, but the music in this game is absolutely incredible for various reasons. Like the fact that different parts of the song will fade in and out depending on what's going on. Uh, it definitely can convey different emotions even with the same song itself. Um, that to me is just fun. We're getting resistance signals from that building over there. We need a way through. Let's look around for a route we can take. <laughs> 